In its very earliest days, the road to rock and roll success ran straight through Pittsburgh. Most of the acts I've worked with, big name acts, have told me that if it was approved by the Pittsburgh Courier, it was a national hit. Pittsburgh Radio offered a couple of different routes to success, each with a distinct personality. Chuck Brinkman and Porky Chedwick were two complete different types of disc jockeys. All right. Porky Chedwick was strictly rhythm and blues, um, race music, that type of a thing. Um, Chuck Brinkman was like a hip teenager, okay? And he was more into the way the world was changing, where Porky never changed. Porky stayed Porky until he died. Chuck Brinkman moved along with the times. So if you were a musician, if you wanted to get hip with what was happening in the world, then Chuck Brinkman was your man. He was R. Dick Clark, basically. Chuck Brinkman was to Pittsburgh what uh, Casey Kasem was to the nation. Chuck played our record on KQV, which was like, phew. I mean, it was like, you go to high school and your record's playing on KQV, and you're like, you're it. From 1960 to 1972, Chuck Brinkman spun the hits of the day from every Pittsburgh teen's favorite corner. When I was 10 years old, I started working at my dad's restaurant, the Lucas down in the Strip. Lived in Brooklyn, my cousin Wayne and I took two streetcars to get to work. But the first street corner was Smithfield and 7th. So you get off the streetcar and you go over and see Chuck Brinkman in the window. It was a thrill. In 1964, Chuck introduced the Beatles at the Civic Arena. He interviewed most of the biggest acts of the day. At the once-in-a-generation intersection of youth, rock and roll, and TV, Chuck Brinkman hosted Pittsburgh's top-rated dance show, Come Alive. TV at that time was our life. TV back then was the media. There wasn't phones and there wasn't anything back then, and, and uh, this was on in prime time. When I went back, most of those kids were like, um, Hey, how'd you get on television, man? They didn't care about how good it was. But how'd you get on television, man? You know, <laughs> to get on that show was like, this is, this is, we've made it. It's, there's nowhere else to go. I tried to get those, those films. They would, they would be priceless today. Well, Rich, here are those priceless tapes unseen since 1967. It was like a dream, you know, being on the show with the guys that you idolized and playing on that show and meeting Chuck Brinkman. That was huge. That's Drew Mignot, lead singer of the band The Sequins. On a local level, being on that show was like being on The Ed Sullivan Show. It really was. I mean, you kind of felt like the Beatles. You were on TV, and all your fans were going to see you. I talked my dad into bringing our 8mm uh, home movie camera to the studio. That was the best you could do. It was just 8mm silent film. But we at least had a record of us appearing on the show. Chuck Brinkman, the guy who introduced the Beatles at the Civic Arena. Now the guy that's introducing you on this show. We didn't miss that connection, believe me. We were nervous. He was just such a nice guy. He had this kind of calming effect um, and didn't act like, you know, the big star. And he was terrific. Chuck Brinkman left Pittsburgh in the late 80s for Texas, but continues to DJ his favorite music, the now oldies that he helped to make into hits. Congratulations to Chuck Brinkman, 2017 Pittsburgh rock and roll broadcaster legend.